Hi, I'm Mr. Olivier and I'm here at the National Heritage Building of the Canadian Museum of Nature and we're going to look at one of the strangest thought experiments ever made at the Museum of Nature. The idea of what would happen if dinosaurs evolved into a human-like form. So we're going to meet the dinosauroid. It's really cool. So I'm Scott Ruffalo and I'm the curator of the paleobiology section at the Canadian Museum of Nature and I'm going to talk to you briefly about some uh, quite famous pieces in our collection at the moment. So this is uh, a life-size model of an animal that uh, originally was called Truodon, uh, we now call it Stenonicosaurus. So this was uh, a carnivorous dinosaur, uh, one that would have been probably quite stealthy and agile uh, and one that uh, had a brain that was actually a fairly good size in proportion to the rest of its body. So it's suspected that this was a, a fairly intelligent animal. And I mention that because we had a researcher here in the 1980s, Dale Russell, who was working on these animals. And in, in realizing that these animals could have been fairly intelligent, he just wondered, as a thought experiment, what might have happened if an animal like Stenonicosaurus actually had the opportunity to evolve. So let's say the asteroid never struck the Earth, the dinosaurs didn't go extinct, mammals didn't rise to become a dominant life form. Could an animal like Stenonicosaurus have evolved into something like a human? And as a result of that thought experiment, working with uh, Lance Seguin, one of our paleo artists, they created this model of what we call the dinosauroid. Uh, again, just uh, a projection based on what we know of evolution of what might have evolved if dinosaurs hadn't gone extinct and there were evolutionary pressures leading towards the, uh, the creation of a highly intelligent, somewhat humanoid-like creature. So the dinosauroid though is exactly that, a thought experiment. So it doesn't actually represent any organism that truly evolved on the planet, uh, but I think it displays uh, some of the, the creativity uh, of science and also uh, what you can, can do with science in terms of projecting uh, the course of evolution into the future. Thank you so much. You're welcome.